I am what's over said over here, marketing brand manager for the Keysight Ease of EDA division. That's a nice word for a nice job and it basically means that for that product division I'm responsible for the planning and implementation of marketing activities. Today we want to speak about the solutions that this product division uh, offers and I'm going to take you through, through slides. As a company we help our customers to uh, bring breakthrough electronic technology faster and cheaper to the market. And we do that from simulation in the virtual environment to prototyping with our measurement equipment and to manufacturing to help uh, customers to, to build those uh, electronic devices. We do it for a variety of uh, application areas which very well align with the show here. Uh, think about automotive electronics, avionics, surveillance, radar, satellites and such. The product revision I'm working for specifically works in simulation tools and we have tools for system level design as well as for component level design. Traditionally, we've been building products for RF and microwave design. Uh, considering that the clock speed for digital circuits go up, uh, they start to have several problems uh, as RF and microwave designers. So these days we also have tools for signal integrity, power integrity. Something similar is going on in the power electronics. The switching power supplies have such high frequency components in them that they start to have uh, electromagnetic issues as well. So we have tools to develop that. And the back more to our traditional market is also the MMIC and RFIC development for which we deliver tools. Also on the physics level we have modeling tools, electromagnetic modeling, but also uh, thermal analysis to look at uh, the thermal behavior of your circuit to see if it actually survives if you build it. And we have uh, tools for device modeling so we can uh, link with measurement equipment, do on the way from measurements and uh, uh, extract model parameters that can then be used in the circuit simulators. And all these tools link to ins our instrumentation, meaning that we can take measured data into the simulation environment, but also the other way around. Uh, simulated uh, signals can be downloaded in signal generators and, and use them as a real life signal. Our division has a wide range of portfolio with a variety of products, which I touched on briefly, uh, modeling tools. Uh, and on the show here today, we focus mostly about System View, which is an electronic system level design tool. ADS, which is our flagship product, which allows you to do circuit, this circuit uh, design, uh, but also layout of uh, MMIC and RF boards and EM Pro, which is our three-dimensional environment to do electromagnetic simulations. <laughs> if you look at ADS, it's like I said, it's a flagship product. Uh, you can do schematic entry and run all sorts of simulations, linear, non-linear simulations, simulations of uh, fully coded, uh, modulated signals. Uh, you can show the display, uh, you can in the data display, you can show the simulation results. You can, you can draw and uh, design your layout, because for RF and microwave circuits, of course, the layout is an uh, important part of the design. And you can run analysis on that layout, as mentioned before, electromagnetic or electrothermal analysis. If we look in uh, what's showing at the show today, that's ADS 2017, the, the latest release. And what's new in that release is that these days, the layout can be done in a through 3D environment, so you can do the routing and stuff like that and the drawing in a 3D environment. And if you have a 3D component like bond wires in this example, they will be shown as a 3D component. We've also had um, an electrothermal simulation with some 3D capabilities. As mentioned before, you can uh, uh, define heat sources, your, the, the, the fingers of your transistor, which would create heat in the, in the MMIC or RFIC for, it, for that matter and see what the temperature is going to be once that electronic circuit is actually running uh, uh, with a certain signal and actually check if, if your device will, will survive, if it will not become too hot. The data display window is the tool which uh, graphically represents the simulation results. Uh, that can be Smith charts, frequency plots, uh, eye diagrams in the, tra in the case of transient simulations and that tool now is also 3D. So you can do three-dimensional plots. In this case, there's a, a, a sweat parameter and you can have a 3D Smith chart. For simulation uh, of circuit envelope, we have uh, uh, improved the speed of that particular simulator. It's, uh, it allows you to do faster modulated signal uh, running through, through your lineup. 
and we have an improved uh, interoperability with the Cadence Virtuoso environment, which allows you to import designs that have been uh, designed in Cadence and then run analysis on that in, in ADS, for example, to model spiral inductors like this case. The other tool that we have on the show is EMPRO, which is our three-dimensional environment and allows you to draw or import three-dimensional structures and run electromagnetic simulations on them. We have two engines available in that framework, a finite element, uh, which is a frequency do domain simulation, and FDTD solver, which are is also available in this tool. It can be used for a variety of applications. For example, if you have multi-technology uh, chip modules, you can, have the, uh, you can analyze the coupling between different technologies. You can analyze the, the coupling of bond wires for, or the packaging of which a device will be placed in. The modeling of connectors, both on RF and digital applications, and also look at radiation patterns. If, it, if we talk about antennas or, for example, radar systems and radar cross-section, if you if you want to see how, uh, how a radar target beam reflects from a target. EMPRO is integrated with ADS. That means that uh, these components can be modeled and then parameterized and be used in the, the ADS circuit simulator. But you can also take ADS uh, layout and import that in EMPRO like this is done in this case. And the whole environment is fully parameterizable. What's new in EM Pro? Uh, the 2017 release is the FEM solver has been upcranked and uh, it's much faster than it used to be before. We have some enhanced data plotting functionality. For example, in this particular graph, you can, sh you can select easily what S parameters you want to be shown in the graph. The Python scripting is improved. And we now have also finite element parameter sweep. So you can sweep a parameter and run a bunch of simulations and see what the effect is of changing that parameter in, the, in your design. The third tool also on this uh, show is System View, which is, like I mentioned, electronic system level design. It is a powerful tool which uh, is used for system architect, for algorithm designers, uh, RF architects. It allows you to do trade-offs between RF and baseband. Um, we can also plug in data from other tools, uh, VHDL, it has a mat mat native MATLAB interpreter. You can use System C modeled and that such, and then do, do a complete simulation of your, uh, your lineup. It has a variety of uh, uh, standard libraries, considering that Keysight as a company sits in the standard committees. Think of LGPP, sorry, 3GPP, LTE, 5G and such. We can build re uh, reference libraries as a golden standard. So for example, if you need to design an amplifier and you want to stimulate that with a fully coded signal that is uh, developed according to the standard, we have that available in System View. And as mentioned before, we have links to instrumentation, so all these signals that you simulate, you can also actually generate by downloading them in a, in a signal generator and use them then for a device on the test. A few new things in System View, in the latest release again at the show over there. Uh, there's an automotive library, uh, which allows you to create automotive signals for automotive radar and such, but also has uh, functionality like pedestrian recognition. There's a new 5G Verizon uh, verification library. New functionality in System View is also around phased array beamforming uh, with uh, 5G, but also with automotive applications and defense applications. Uh, array, uh, phased array antennas become, uh, become a hot topic. What you can do is you can import the, uh, the radiation pattern of one of the patches and then define a matrix and see how you can uh, steer the beam by exciting the different patches with different phases and such. And then some more standard libraries, for example, for narrowband IoT is now available also in System View. And 802.11 AX. So all these products are uh, on the demo stations over there. In the central, we have two demo stations running ADS, EMPRO, and System View. 
and all these products, but also the, the different uh, application software that's running on the instruments, you can find as a free, uh, free trial. Uh, if you go to this website, we try to make it as easy as possible so you can remember it. Uh, keysight.com slash find slash flea underscore trials. There's a full list of software applications that you can download there as a free trial. And uh, yeah, hopefully that is useful for you. If you want to know more, please go to over to the demo stations. And thank you very much for your attention.